This is going to be the. Let's turn them on now. This is going to be the. Okay, first sketch name was. Batman. Warm up. Sketch like Batman. Okay, stand by. And by the way, guys, he forgot which kid had the track. It's a second. 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 Yeah, Mark a second. All right. Okay. Which means, which means that's where you basically live. It doesn't mean that you can't wander around because you are live. Let's so stay in this area, so we want to well, go. You're going to go right here. About, from about here, from about here, over to about uh, this area. So you've got different key lights. So okay, the blind doors coming up, you've got another yeah. key light over right here. Right here, you have another one here. Scared. Okay. So in this area. Okay. But no, you know, come out away from the background as much as possible. I don't want to limit you. Okay. And we don't want to run. No, we don't. Okay. Okay. And anytime. So pow. Bill. Uh, my feet. Da na 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 na. Batman. Holy spirit, Batman. We lost him. Not quite, Robin. He dropped this. What is it? What is it, Batman? It says you must be born again. Holy babies, Batman. Can a man be born when he's old? Can he enter his mother's womb a second time to be born? I'm afraid it's not quite that simple, old chum. Holy trains, Batman. Is someone trying to throw us off the track? It's in the skip. No, you see, Robin, it's like the wind. The wind blows where it pleases. You feel it, but you cannot understand it. So is everyone who is born in the spirit. Holy brains, Batman. The physical mind can understand the things of the spirit. I know, Robin. But it's all coming back to me now from Bat Sunday School. Quick, Robin, get out the Bat Bible. Holy Bible, Batman. We're going to have problems. We got a Bible back there. Aha, just as I thought. What is it? Bat brain? I, I meant that as a compliment. Bat brain? It's okay, bird legs. Excuse me, back beak. Watch warm breath. Do I really? Yeah. It says, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not be confused, therefore, that I say unto ye, hmm, must mean you, that you must be born again. Holy sinners, Batman. Pardon me, Robin. But does that include us too? I'm afraid so, old chum. But we're good guys, Batman. You got it. We fight crime. You know it. We save the world from horrible criminals. That's right. We give to charity. Bat aid. And to avoid fame, we run around in blue jeans and a t-shirt? No, Robin, you see, not one person is righteous. But no, not one. Good God. Do you realize what this means? Yes, I do. And he is. What are you going to do about it, Robin? I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. It's just that I don't, don't know. know. Thank you, Uncle Al. <laughs> the only <laughs> one. I... Don't, don't know. know. Will this be the end of the dynamic duo? I, I don't, don't know. know. Will Batman and Robin finally meet their maker? I, I don't know. know. Will there be a morning after? I don't know. For the answer to these and other tantalizing questions, stay tuned. Same bat time, same bat channel, same bat place. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. She's gonna do this at the beginning of the skit. Okay. They have it. Good. Oh, I didn't This is Tom Tick taking a little bit of movie star instruction. Okay, now we gotta do the second one. Wow. That's very good, Salvation. Oh, um, Mastro series is four. Okay. Are you guys ready for two? Number two. Ready for two. Derek, ready for two? Last, Last World Series, series report. report. Last World Series report. If you guys stand closer, I could get you in here better. Just closer to each other. <laughs> you can zoom back. Go ahead. I'm waiting for the cue. <laughs> what cue? Oh, he's going to time it. Okay, go ahead. Wait a minute. Eric needs to um, play the tape on this. Eric. the last World Series report. A preview of this season's biggest showdown between the Heavenly Saints and the Demons of Darkness. Down here on the field with us today is that zealous shortstop for the Saints, the Apostle Peter. Pete, you and the Saints be having quite a surge during the final days. 
What, what do you think are some of the reasons? Well, Tim, we'd like to give all of our credit to the team trainer, the Holy Spirit. He really gives us the courage and the strength to pull through in the clutch. And, uh, you know, the demons, they rely on drugs to keep their guys going. We believe this is uh, wrong and very dangerous. As a matter of fact, I think that's how they lost a lot of their key players here in the final days. That's a good point, Pete, but uh, I'd like to know, know a little bit more about the individual testimonies. Uh, Paul Tarsus, for example, how is he working out? Well, as you know, we got Paul in a trade with the demons for Judas Iscariot, and we're really thrilled with the way things turned out. As you know, we planned Judas to play second base, but he was always running around right field, kind of doing his own thing. But, you know, he, he didn't play long for the demons either, but that's another story. Um, when, Paul was with the, when Paul was with the demons, he was quite a slugger, as many of our players can tell you. But since coming to the Saints, he's had a real turnaround year. And uh, he's been not only proven to be a person who could swing a bat, but even somebody who can field some of the toughest questions in life and turn them into real victories. Okay, Pete, um, I know it's late in the season. How's the coaching staff out, uh, holding up? How are they helping you guys stay motivated, staying at it? Okay, well, you see, you know the demons, they rely on fear, intimidation really to keep their players going. We believe in a positive reinforcement type thing. Coach Isaiah, Coach Daniel, Coach Zachariah, well, you know, the entire coaching staff is prophesying a mighty victory. Matter of fact, Daniel was saying in the clubhouse the other day that the victory was already ours. All we had to do was claim it and go out and play the game. Yeah, and uh, Daniel ought to know. I still recall some years back he, the game he played against the Lions. Oh, yeah, that's right. Shut him out, as I recall. That's right, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, Paul, I want to ask you about Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Undoubtedly yep. the most powerful and talented player in the league. Now, the demons say they put him out for good, but you guys say he's coming back. What's the scoop? Well, Jesus promised that in the final days he would return, so we're expecting him any day now. Um, as you know, we give Jesus Christ all the credit for this team, both as individuals and as a group. He's really changed our lives. He's taken us from a, a bunch of Sandlot fishermen and changed us into a group of precision miracle workers. Obviously, we're waiting for his return. Then he is coming back. Well, Tim, he promised, didn't he? That's one thing Jesus is always famous for. He ke always keeps his promises. Okay, look, uh, we're running out of time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so I want to thank you for being on the show. We have a okay. Spiegel gift certificate for you a little later on. Um, Best of luck to you and the team in the rest of the series. Oh, thanks a lot, Tim. But on our team, luck has nothing to do with it. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Okay, thanks again. Uh, this is where you can bring in the thing. Yeah. For back to you in the booth, Joe. Okay. Opening Batman. Um, Next group. Just about as long as the Astro Series report. You know, just a few seconds. Okay. Uh, third one's name was Ronco Bible. Ronco Bible. Yeah. Ronco Bible. Yeah. Ron Co. C O E. Bible. See this Bible right here? It's a patented Ronco Bible. Okay. This has no music. Yes, you may. I can't throw. It. Sorry. You can't catch. Okay. okay. And now the amazing Ron, oh, I'm sorry, are you ready? Okay. And now the amazing Ron Cole Bible. And now, here's Ron Cole, president of the Ron Cole Bible Corporation, here to tell you about an amazing offer. Hi, I'm Ron Cole, president of the Ron Cole Bible Corporation, here to tell you about an amazing new offer. I uh, just said that. That's right. Do you know what the world's most important subject is? You. That's right. You. Did you know God loves you so much and that he thinks you're so cute that he can't keep his eyes off of you? That's right. God wants to give you love, joy, money, and power over your friends. Additional words added for emphasis. That's right. That's why we at here at Ronco have developed an all new Ronco Bible. That's right. Show you Ronco. <laughs> this is our... Thanks to a revolutionary new development here at Ron Cole Bible Laboratories, we're able to bring you, uh, for the first time, a truly personal Bible. Yes, truly for the very first time, your daily bread can be a piece of cake. <laughs> uh, this is how it works. You just open your Ron Cole Bible to your favorite passage. For example, For God so loved the world that he gave... Stop! You take out your patented Ron Cole Bible eraser, and you erase those parts you wish to replace. Then you take out your Ron Cole Bible writer, and you write in your own personal promise from God. Then you take out your Ron Cole Bible highlighter, and you highlight those passages, and hold him to it. Now God will have to do what you say, because it's in the Bible. 
You'll be amazed at some of the things that you can do. And so will he. Listen to some examples. For God so loved the world that he gave the Petersons a Winnebago. Thou shalt not commit adultery unless you find a perfect chick. Or number 10. It is appointed unto man once to die, but after that, it's party time. There you go. No more bothersome convictions from the Holy Spirit or rebukes from God either. You can't quit or plain just don't want to? Well, hey, make it a virtue. It's all in your Ron Cole Bible, or at least it soon will be. You can get your Ron Cole Bible at less discerning Christian bookstores everywhere like Uncle Al's. Or, but make sure you ask for the patented Ron Cole Bible offer boy who are prohibited by God. Where are Beatrice? Beatrice. So it's free. Okay, can we go home now? <laughs> okay. Got him. Um, yeah, we got all problems there. Out of the house right there. Okay, um, can we leave something on the table no, behind the desk? I want you to do a favor in yes. the audience. You can remember that it's your audience to them, but also to them. So, um, play, play to the middle of the part. Okay, okay. Great. My fellow here.